Fox 66 News with Elena LaQuatra, meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, and Greg Smiley with sports. This is Fox 66 News Good Day Erie. It's Tuesday morning and Erie police continue to search for suspects after a teenager shot in the leg late Sunday night. It's 8 a.m. Good Day Erie. I'm Elena LaQuatra. We start with President Donald Trump's Supreme Court nominee announcing Washington, D.C. federal judge Brett Kavanaugh as his pick to replace retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy on the Supreme Court. Even before the president's announcement, Democrats were already voicing strong opposition at the heart of their concerns that the president's pick would undermine Roe v. Wade, the landmark 1973 ruling that upheld a legal right to an abortion. The Affordable Care Act could also be on the line. These two rights affordable health care and a woman's freedom to make sensitive health care decisions hang in the balance with this nominee. Not a rubber stamp for anybody. I got some hard questions. Whoever the president nominates. The Senate only needs 50 votes to confirm a Supreme Court nominee, meaning that if all but one Republicans vote along party lines, they will not need any Democratic support. More news is coming up in just a minute, but first we're turning to meteorologist Tom DeVecchio with your Fox First forecast. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Elena. We're looking at some sunshine to start out the day here, and the weather looking pretty decent now. Frontal system will approach. Oh, sometime around late morning and it might set off a few showers here in Erie, maybe some few isolated storms on the inland side as well. Otherwise, though, we should have a pretty decent afternoon. High temperatures reaching the lower 80s. We're looking nice into the end of the week as well. We'll have more details later in the show. Ellen? Thank you, Tom. An Erie man is set to learn his fate in Erie County Court today. That update, update is new this morning. Nathan Wyzorek was arrested on January 25th after allegedly attacking two police officers. His sentencing is set for 8.30 this morning in front of Judge William Cunningham. And Robert Heath is expected to appear in Erie County Court as well. Accused of starving two dogs, he faces animal abuse charges. Heath's appearance in Veterans Court is set for 9 a.m. in Judge Joe Walsh's courtroom. Now to a developing story we've been following closely. Police are staying silent on who they believe is responsible for a shooting in the city of Erie. On Sunday around 11 p.m., police were called to the 700 block of East 24th Street. Authorities say a 17-year-old girl was shot in the leg after a group of people were arguing outside. Police tell us 11 gunshots were fired, striking a home and the victim inside the home. Investigators say they have identified some suspects in the incident, but they're not releasing those names at this point. It's still an ongoing investigation. I don't even like having my daughter outside because you don't know what's going to happen. So we're trying to move as soon as we can. You know, I mean, it's sad that people run around here with guns and nobody does anything about it. And 21-year-old Whitney Sullivan is recovering at a local hospital after a vicious box cutter attack outside of a Walgreens last Tuesday. Erie police say that a couple was getting back into their vehicle. They jumped into action when they heard Whitney screams. Now Sullivan's father is thanking everyone who helped her. Some Erie residents joined forces with the Erie Police Department to discuss ways to reduce crime in their West Bayfront neighborhood. T.R. Braddock was at the Neighborhood Watch meeting. She has our report. Some Erie residents are on a mission to find ways to reduce crime in their West Bayfront neighborhood. Anna Franz from our West Bayfront says there are six neighborhood watch groups within the West Bayfront district. Each one of them is really critical to um, the quality of life, to um, you know, community safety, um, and to community relationships. Uh, one watch group met on Monday night to discuss what they can do as neighbors to help reduce crime. One thing we're hearing again and again from the police department is to call things in um, and be specific as possible about you know where exactly the incident took place. Officers from the Erie Police Department were also at the neighborhood watch meeting discussing problems with the residents. We were just talking about uh, we released some crime statistics that uh, the shootings were down, but uh, there have been a couple in this particular neighborhood, so that is concerning to us. Chief Fazarni says residents should be observant in their neighborhood. Um, when they see something uh, that they want to 
let the police know to, to contact us. If it's something going on right now, they call the non-emergency number, um, 870-1125. If it's something that they just want to pass on the information to the detectives, use the tip line, 870-1199. And Chief Spazarni says don't get frustrated if your call isn't responded to immediately. Keep calling in with information and they will try to get to it as soon as possible. Tierra Braddock, Fox 66 News. The Erie County Coroner's Office says the driver in a fatal pedestrian accident is not facing charges. It's continuing coverage this morning. 64-year-old Lannis Ellis was crossing West 26th Street when she was struck by a car at about 10.30 Friday night. She was transported to an Erie hospital where she was pronounced dead. We're still not exactly sure what she was doing here, but uh, there's no evidence of any kind of... Uh, foul play or substance abuse or anything like that. I think it was just an unfortunate accident. The coroner's office has located the family of the victim. They're in Philadelphia. A deadly motorcycle crash on East Lake Road raises concerns about safety on roadways. Saida Abbas talked to state police and motorcycle experts to learn more on how to stay safe. The deadly motorcycle crash occurred last night at 5.50 p.m. on East Lake Road. Police say 12 motorcyclists were riding together. Biker Richard Elder was killed in the accident. Another motorcyclist, Thomas Ekman, was transported to UPMC Hammett with serious injuries. Operator 2, which is Ekman, was the lead motorcycle and he attempted to make a left-hand turn. Um, after slowing down, he activated his turn signal. Operator 1, which is Elder, continued to travel straight, failed to to observe the turning signal and it struck um, Unit 2, causing both operators to lose control. Accidents like Sundays give reason to remember all the rules of the road during motorcycle season. Look twice and save a life is one of them. So is using common sense. Always ride sober, obey all speed limits, and allow enough time to react to dangerous situations helps. Knowing your motorcycle and doing a pre-ride check is important. Cars should leave at least four seconds when following a motorcycle and signal their intentions when they're changing lanes. For motorcyclists, you know, they really just need to pay attention you know, to intersections, to cars that are making left-hand turns in front of them. I always tell motorcyclists, you know, when you come and approach an intersection, look at the wheels of the car, because the wheels of the car don't lie. Saida Abbas, Fox 66 News. And in the name of motorcycle safety, road repairs are underway on Interstate 79. The highway ramps at West 26th Street and Interstate 79 finally getting fixed after motorcyclists complained to PennDOT, saying the ramps were too dangerous for bikers. PennDOT representatives say they've already done work on these ramps, but they're trying a different kind of repair this time. Now to some news out of Crawford County where an accident along Interstate 79 trashes part of a busy interchange. It happened on the I-79 on-ramp north at Meadville. Reports from the scene indicate that a tractor trailer was loaded with garbage and did not make the turn, instead rolling onto its side and spilling the garbage as it went. The driver from Hadley, Pennsylvania was taken to the hospital, but the injuries did not appear to be life-threatening. The ramp was closed for several hours until the debris could be cleared away. A fire in Albion leaves a house damaged after fire crews battled the blaze for about 45 minutes. The call going out shortly after 3 o'clock Monday afternoon in the 8300 block of North Ackerley Road. According to officials, around eight Erie Fire companies responded to the fire. Two people were inside at the time, fortunately neither suffering any injuries. Two cats were also taken out of the house uninjured. No word on what may have caused the fire still remains under investigation. Law enforcement agencies are taking part in an initiative to reduce accidents related to aggressive driving. Erie and Mill Creek Police will join state police and more than 200 other agencies to target speeding, tailgating and red light running through August. During last year's initiative, participating agencies issued more than 40,000 citations. What we're going to do is with that data target those areas with um, a high amount of speed enforcement um, with the Air Police Motorcycle Unit. Uh, we'll focus mostly on moving violations. The Aggressive Driving Enforcement Initiative is funded by PennDOT and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. All right, brace yourself. Gas prices are starting to rise again. So sorry to be the bearer of bad news. For the first time since Memorial Day, the national average has seen a weekly rise 
a penny to 286 per gallon. That's according to GasBuddy.com. And with hurricane season underway, gas prices slowly starting to creep up. So fill that gas tank up soon. And let's turn to some good news now. A popular Erie radio station making a big announcement today. The Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine is expected to reveal that it has closed on the sale of the former Mercyhurst radio station, now known as Lecom Radio. The station is located at the 88.5 on the FM dial and plays the classic hits from the 60s, 70s, and the 80s. Lecom first announced the sale back in late February and it's running the station since March 1st. Now cherry pie is on the menu and thousands of people will travel to Northeast to enjoy it. It's the annual Northeast Firemen's Cherry Festival. It's getting underway today. The festival includes rides, games, entertainment vendors, the crowning of the cherry queen, and of course, lots and lots of cherry pie. A highlight of the event is the Firemen's Parade set for Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock p.m. Now tonight, the fun gets underway at 5.30. And after much anticipation, the wait is finally over. Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is scheduled to open up today. Employees have been training for the past few weeks. The new restaurant is in the 2600 block of West 12th Street, scheduled to open in about two hours, 10 a.m. Time now is 8.10. There's no shortage of music in the Erie region at this time of year. Coming up on Good Day Erie. From the city of Erie to the woods, there's certainly something for everyone. We'll take you to some of the events that happened so far this week. This is Fox 66 News Good Day Erie. Start your mornings off right with Good Day Erie weekdays on Fox 66. Wherever your journey takes you, across the highways and byways, along the avenues and boulevards, one thing is clear. All signs point to your local Honda dealer. Right now, drive the highly awarded 2018 Honda CRV or the impressive 2018 HRV crossover. Stop by your local Honda dealer or visit shophonda.com. You've seen the Seifert's furniture truck from Mill Creek and Fairview to Edinburgh and Meadville. That's because your neighbors took the beautiful drive to Seifert's Furniture to save hundreds on quality, customizable furniture for their home. Our prices will surprise you. That similar furniture at other stores doesn't compare in price or quality. And at Seifert's, our prices are the best year-round. Make the right choice. Seifert's Furniture in Northeast and Conneaut Lake. Caregivers, are you and the person you care for not satisfied with your current home care company? Are you not being paid weekly or receiving time and a half pay? If not, it's time for a change. Excel Home Care offers great weekly pay, medical benefits, PTO, and time and a half. Excel Home Care offers exceptional home care services. Choose a home care company that cares for both you and your client. Call Excel Home Care. When you do business with Palmero Toyota, we give you our promise. I promise to always have my customer's best interest at heart and to make sure that they leave the dealership with the car that best fits their needs. And I promise that the work we do is quality work. My promise is to always treat my customers with the same level and amount of respect that I would want in return. Palmero Toyota, located on the Conneaut Lake Road in Meadville or 24-7 at palmerotoyota.net. Toyota makes the car. Palmero makes it fun. From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. Beautiful start to our day. Here's a check this out on our Bob Ferrando Ford World Skycam. This one out of Girard. Uh, they painted the lines there, the crosswalk lines uh, out uh, on Route 20 there. So they're nice and white. Uh, the Girard Borough up and at them early this morning. And uh, they drive very quickly. So uh, traffic is back up to uh, normal uh, moving there for today. Live pinpoint Doppler's only live local Doppler. No precipitation around showing up around the region, none around the area. A nice start to the day. Already up to 75 here in Erie. Meadville 68, Jamestown 67, as is Bradford and Franklin. So we do have 
some uh, fairly mild temperatures. Dew points starting to uh, move up here in the lower to mid 60s, so it's feeling a little humid, not muggy, but definitely feeling a little more of that humidity there. And that could lead to maybe a few scattered showers or a thunderstorm. We have a front right now. It's actually draped up here in Ontario. It will pass through the Erie region sometime, oh, probably about two hours or so, maybe three. May set off some showers. It'll give us some clouds. May set off a few showers or perhaps a rumble of thunder here. As it moves farther south into Meadville and into the Warren area by uh, early afternoon, uh, again, maybe some scattered showers and storms, but that front should be out of the region by late in the afternoon. And again, scattered storms here. We're not talking any big time washouts. After that, beautiful weather here. Some uh, high pressure will give us some nice sunshine for tomorrow. Set us up some nice weather right on into the end of the week. So your forecast, mostly sunny for now. They're becoming partly sunny. Chance of a few showers here along the lake shore late morning, perhaps midday and into the early afternoon farther south with perhaps some storms. High temperatures in the lower 80s. Mostly clear, comfortable for tonight. Dew points will drop. Temperatures mid to upper 50s away from the lake shore, lower 60s, closer toward the lake and into tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, good looking day with high temperatures approaching 80 degrees. And from your weather authority, the warmth will continue to get better established Thursday into Friday along with more humidity. Highs in the mid 80s by Friday. That could lead to some scattered showers and storms for the upcoming weekend. Get the latest updates of that forecast anytime. Head to our website, yourerie.com. Thank you, Tom. St. Vincent officials are celebrating a milestone with the construction of a new health and wellness center in Harbor Creek. A topping ceremony included placement of the final beam signed by employees and hospital officials. The Buffalo Road facility will include primary and specialty care, as well as advanced diagnostic imaging. The facility should be ready by March of next year. It's fantastic being born and raised um, here in Erie, actually on the east side, and, and to be a part of this is uh, fantastic. This facility is being built next to the St. Vincent Urgent Care Center East, which opened in 1988. Music was in the air all over the region Monday, including Asbury Woods in Mill Creek. It was the monthly Monday Music in the Woods concert series. Dozens of people came out to enjoy tunes and the atmosphere at the Scenic Nature Center. Organizers hope to inspire a greater sense of environmentalism, education, and recreation. It's just a wonderful time to bring new friends and old uh, to the grounds of Asbury Woods to enjoy, you know, community. And it was all chairs on deck for a Sounds of the Summer concert series. The concert performed by the Bayfront Dixieland Band was held at the Soldiers and Sailors Home. The concert series is held every Monday night through the summer at different assisted living centers. Next week, Elvis impersonator Jim Moore will perform at the Curry Shell Apartments. It's a beautiful time of the year, and Erie Mayor Joe Schumber has declared this week Garden Week. The proclamation recognizes the roles that gardens play in the community and the archiving and ephemeral beauty exhibit at the Erie Art Museum. The 92-year-old Carrie T. Watson Garden Club's exhibit features 15 of the region's gardens. Mayor Joe Schumber is encouraging residents to plant their own. I think bringing attention, kind of celebrating the wonderful gardens we have and the great uh, environment we have here for gardens through the spring, summer, and fall, and encouraging people to get out and, you know, make your place look good. The exhibit at the Erie Art Museum runs through September 16th. Time now is 818. The temperature is 75. Might have dodged a raindrop or two today. Your latest forecast after the break. Also coming up on Good Day Erie, mobile phone and tablet use by kids under the age of 8 is up by 1,000% over the past several years. So how can parents be sure kids are using the right ones? Find out when we come back. You know, honey, I hate to bow out of Chick Flick Friday, but I've got to run to the ATM. Uh, Janie may not have enough money to go to the movies with her friends uh, tonight. Listen, honey, she has the Get Cash card from Widget Financial, so relax. And you don't have to go to the ATM because I've been monitoring her spending all night on the phone app. Yeah. Plus, she has that set spending limit, remember? Widget Financial's Get Cash card is a reloadable debit card that's cool enough for them and safe enough for you. So I guess Chick Flick Friday's back on then. <laughs> it was never off. 
on the next Big Bang Theory. You guys let Stuart live with you, why not Raj too? What, what are you doing? I slept the baby over, I brought imported beer, why don't you like me? Who gets to take home their very own Raj? I'm sorry Raj, we really just don't have the space. What if he lives in your garage? What if you stop helping? Going once, going twice. If you need a place to stay, of course you are welcome here. Might as well keep on relying on my father. Yeah. Next Big Bang. Tonight at 7 on Fox 66. Get hungry. Then get to the table. At Longhorn, you already know what you've got to have. Now the only thing left to do is have it. Tonight, come get your Longhorn favorites. The Outlaw Ribeye, the Parmesan Crusted Chicken, the Longhorn Salmon. The feeling, the flavor, the place. Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. Are you and your child having trouble with discipline? Is your child displaying out of control behavior or anger issues at home or at school? We're here to help. At Sarah Reed Children's Center, we help you deal with these issues before it's too late. Don't think you're alone. Call today. From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. Nice weather in the Meadville region for this morning. This is the Erie Auto Credit Skycam, uh, again, in the Meadville area, uh, where we do have uh, some uh, nice weather to start out the day here. Beautiful sunshine and uh, no fog. We had a little fog here and there, but overall, not too bad. Our live pinpoint Doppler is only live local Doppler. It picks up what other radars can't, and it's just not showing anything right now. Uh, weather in pretty good shape uh, for the time being. As uh, we check uh, the temperature, 75 in Erie, inland spots, upper 60s for the most part, with dew points uh, now into the lower to mid 60s. So we're feeling a bit of the humidity for this morning. And uh, with it, uh, we're seeing a frontal system coming down. You can see some showers moving into Lake Ontario, but the front itself not very active. Now, as it comes across the lake and comes into a somewhat higher dew points, I think a few showers uh, may develop here. First along the lake shore and here in Erie about late morning. And that'll go until midday, and then it'll move south. That'll be the only threat of any uh, showers here in the area, and not a serious threat. As it moves farther toward the south, uh, we'll find uh, that uh, the showers make it a little more prominent. Uh, but the best chance of storms will be south of I-80. That's where most of the fun will be uh, for tonight into tomorrow. Notice uh, the blue lines here, the blue arrows, rather, the northeasterly flow. That'll bring in some drier air for tonight. And uh, into tomorrow, we'll have, uh, again, that northerly flow. Uh, not a strong one, but uh, temperatures will still be able to break uh, to near 80. But it will give us uh, more comfortable warmth into tomorrow. Today, a little humid. Chance of a few showers from midday or early, late morning, midday here in Erie. And early to mid-afternoon away from the lake shore with some possible storms. Again, scattered, the key word here. Not everyone will get hit. Most of you, in fact, will not. Highs today, lower to mid-80s. Mostly clear for tonight. Comfortable. 50s inland, low 60s along the lake shore. Into tomorrow, mostly sunny skies with high temperatures approaching 80 degrees and a little less humid. But the humidity comes back slowly as we head toward the end of the week for Thursday into Friday. Highs reaching the mid-80s, and that could lead to some scattered showers and storms for the upcoming weekend. Okay, trivia question time. Here it is. Uh, how much weight of a 200-pound man is water, an average 200-pound man? How much of it is water? 90 pounds, 120 pounds, 150 pounds, or 180 pounds? Okay. The answer coming up within the half hour. I may know this one. I may actually know it for real. Good deal. We'll see. Today in entertainment news, a big anniversary and stories of marvel and wonder. Tom Hanks fans, this should be music to your ears. Big is headed back to the big screen to mark its 30th anniversary. More than 700 U.S. theaters will screen the much-loved comedy this Sunday, July 15th, and next Wednesday, July 18th. Brie Larson has revealed something about her next movie. The highly anticipated Captain Marvel filming is apparently done. Larson posted a photo of the film's clapperboard and a calendar showing July 6th was the last day of shooting. Not much else is known about the Marvel movie, which is set to hit theaters next March. 
Also opening next March, Wonder Park, about a girl who discovers the amusement park she's created in her imagination has somehow come to life. The first trailer had just dropped for the animated adventure, which features the voices of Jennifer Garner, Matthew Broderick, and more. A bunch of new chart records for Drake. His new album, Scorpion, just debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 album chart, his eighth straight to do so. It set record for the most streams ever in one week and had the biggest sales week of the year so far. Also, the album has seven of the top ten songs on the singles chart. That breaks the previous record of five set by the Beatles back in 1964. That is a big deal. Wow. Yes. Yeah, way to go, Drake. Mm -hmm. All right, now mobile phone and tablet use by kids under the age of eight is up by 1,000% over the past several years. But with all those apps claiming to be educational, how can parents sort it all out? Tablets, phones, all with apps, thousands of them claim to be educational, but how can parents tell which ones are of value? Even the most dedicated parents can't preview thousands of apps, so most just do what they can. Uh, you know, let her necessarily pick something on her own without, you know, me checking it out or Googling it first. Take a peek at what your kid is doing, and, uh, and if you don't like what you see or something common sense goes nix, then don't do it. To help parents like Jenny be more definitive about which apps help kids learn, doctors looked at so-called educational apps. A study found that there are simple features that parents should look for. These kind of features popped out of the literature. Active, engaged, meaningful, socially interactive, and has a learning goal. Here are the building blocks for a powerful decision-making formula. Apps that encourage social interaction, exploration, and creativity. An app should engage children like a parent would. And remember, the app should not be complicated or a child might lose interest. And that brings us to today's poll question. We want to know how many apps do you have on your phone? That question will be posted all day. Just head over to yourerie.com and vote. And then tune in tomorrow to see how your answer compares with everyone else. Now it's time to show you the results of our daily YourErie.com poll question. We asked, do you get the recommended amount of sleep every night? Ellen, I have no. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Okay. Well, uh, a little over a third of you said, 35% said, not even close. That's us. 29% said, uh, most of the time. 23% said, once or twice a week. 13% of you said, yes, you do. Well, I'm glad you did. Yeah, congrats to the 13% there. Yeah. Not an easy feat. No, it's not. <laughs> The time now is 8.26, straight ahead at 8.30 on Good Day Erie. Find your bibs and get ready to enjoy a taste of the season in Northeast. We're not talking about grapes. Weather looking pretty good for that event. More details later in the show. You've always made it look easy. March to your own beat. And lived life in the fast lane. Turning 65, that won't change you either. The only difference is it's time to find a Medicare plan that fits you. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield makes it easy. With our $0 premium Medicare plan, you'll pay nothing for primary care doctor visits and generic prescriptions. Plus, you'll enjoy routine vision and dental coverage, a no-cost gym membership, and so much more. See how valuable this plan really is. Call 1-866-706-2985 to request your free Medicare planning guide with a complete listing of benefits. Choose Highmark and get a Medicare plan for all you've got planned. Call 1-866-706-2985 today. Nobody loves their customers like Boyer RV Center. And nobody's going to undersell us during our third annual customer appreciation event. We're saying thanks to all our shoppers with blowout pricing on remaining 2018s. Like a new Springdale travel trailer with over 10 grand off MSRP, just 18920 Plus, save thousands on our latest 2019s and enjoy food, prizes, giveaways, and so much more. If family fun is in your future, don't miss our third annual customer appreciation event, July 12th through the 14th at Boyer RV Center. On the next Big Bang Theory. You guys let Stuart live with you, why not Raj too? What, what are you doing? I slept the baby over, I brought imported beer, why don't you like me? Who gets to take home their very own Raj? I'm sorry Raj, we really just don't have the space. What if he lives in your garage? What if you stop helping? Going once, 
Going twice. If you need a place to stay, of course you are welcome here. Might as well keep on relying on my father. Yeah. Next Big Bang. Tonight at 7 on Fox 66. Thanks for watching Fox 66. Fox 66 News with Elena LaQuatra, meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, and Craig Smiley with sports. This is Fox 66 News. Good day, Erie. It's Tuesday morning and a violent attack leaves a teenager with a gunshot wound, but police aren't releasing much information about the investigation. It's 8.30 a.m. Good day, Erie. I'm Elena LaQuatra. First on Fox, President Donald Trump announcing his second nominee to the Supreme Court in a primetime address Monday night. The president naming Washington, D.C. federal judge Brett Kavanaugh to replace Justice Anthony Kennedy. Even before the president's announcement, Democrats were already voicing strong opposition at the heart of their concerns that the president's pick would undermine Roe versus Wade, the landmark 1973 ruling that upheld a legal right to an abortion. The Affordable Care Act could also be on the line. My judicial philosophy is straightforward. A judge must be independent and must interpret the law, not make the law. A judge must interpret statutes as written, and a judge must interpret the Constitution as written, informed by history and tradition and precedent. The Senate only needs 50 votes to confirm a Supreme Court nominee, meaning that if all but one Republicans vote along party lines, they will not need any Democratic support. More news coming up in just a minute, but first, meteorologist Tom DeVecchio has your Fox First forecast this morning. Hi, Tom. Good morning, Elena. We have some great weather to start out today here. Lots of bright sunshine. Temperatures are right in the mid-70s here in Erie. Uh, we do expect a frontal approach, so that could set off maybe a shower or two here in Erie. Not real confident about that. And maybe some isolated showers or storms on the inland side into the early to mid-afternoon. Temperatures still on the warm side, a little humid. Highs in the lower 80s. The rest of the forecast will be coming up later in the show. Elena? Thank you, Tom. An Erie man is scheduled to appear in Erie County Court to face his sentencing today. That update is new this morning. Nathan Wyzorek was arrested on January 25th after allegedly attacking two police officers. His sentencing is set for 8.30 this morning in front of Judge William Cunningham. And Robert Heath expected to appear in Erie County Court as well. He's accused of starving two dogs. He faces animal abuse charges. Heath's appearance in Veterans Court is set for 9 a.m. in Judge Joe Walsh's courtroom. Now to a developing story we've been following closely. Erie police are still looking into a shooting that sent a 17-year-old to the hospital. On Sunday around 11 p.m., police were called to the 700 block of East 24th Street. Authorities say a 17-year-old girl was shot in the leg after a group of people were arguing outside. Police tell us 11 gunshots were fired, striking a home and the victim inside of the home. Investigators say they have identified some suspects in the incident. They're not releasing any of those names at this point. It's still an ongoing investigation. And 21-year-old Whitney Sullivan is recovering at a local hospital after a vicious box cutter attack outside of a Walgreens last Tuesday. Erie police say that a couple was getting back into their vehicle. They jumped into action when they heard Whitney's screams. Now Sullivan's father is thanking everyone who helped her. If I've learned anything personally from this, uh, that is incredibly important in life, to have people that are willing, that, that don't even know you, to just step in and help. Whitney Sullivan was attacked as she approached her workplace. Her father says it was unprovoked. This morning, Ron Hilliard is searching for answers on what you can do to increase your chance of surviving a similar attack. You do if someone approaches you and you feel threatened. Police say try your best to get away. If someone invades your space, uh, you need to uh, consider whether or not uh, that you feel threatened by that and, and take steps to just uh, maybe move, move away. 
The goal is to create space. If you can control the distance, you can control the damage. Our goal, our definition of self-defense is use what techniques you need to to get to a safe place. It's not stand there and fight a huge person toe to toe and prove that you're stronger. It's just get to a safe place. Can we keep you safe? Lund Martial Arts Academy owner Jeff Lund says he teaches techniques like punches and kicks, but he says self-defense includes a holistic approach. The next part is is awareness, just knowing your surroundings, knowing what's going on. And we, we, we talk about those things in that in that workshop. Um, and then the last thing is is going to be good old fashioned fitness. There are techniques that hopefully you won't have to use, but someday they could come in handy. Ron Hewlett, Fox 66 News. Some Erie residents are on a mission to find ways to reduce crime in the city of Erie. According to the director of Our West Bayfront, there are six neighborhood watch groups in the West Bayfront district. One watch group met last night to discuss what they can do as neighbors to help reduce crime. Officers from the Erie Police Department were also at the meeting discussing problems with the residents. Um, when they see something uh, that they want to let the police know to, to contact us. If it's something going on right now, they call the non-emergency number, um, 870-1125. If it's something that they just want to pass on the information to the detectives, use the tip line, 870-1199. Erie Police and our West Bayfront are encouraging residents to get involved with their local crime watch. The driver in a fatal pedestrian accident is not facing charges. That's according to the Erie County Coroner's Office. It's continuing coverage this morning. 64-year-old Lannis Ellis was crossing the street was crossing West 26th Street when she was struck by a car at about 10.30 Friday night. She was transported to an Erie hospital where she was pronounced dead. Motorcycle season is in full swing. With that comes the importance of staying safe on the road no matter what you drive. Police say a deadly motorcycle crash occurred Sunday night just before 6 p.m. in the 1100 block of East Lake Road. Biker Richard Elder was killed in the accident with Roar on the Shore a little more than a week away and more than 100 thousand bikers expected to make their way to Erie. Safety for all motorists is vital. For motorcyclists, you know, they really just need to pay attention you know, to intersections, to cars that are making left-hand turns in front of them. I always tell motorcyclists, you know, when you come and approach an intersection, look at the wheels of the car, because the wheels of the car don't lie. And in the name of motorcycle safety, road repairs are underway on Interstate 79. The highway ramps at West 26th Street and Interstate 79 finally getting fixed after motorcyclists complained to PennDOT, saying the ramps were too dangerous for bikers. PennDOT representatives say they've already done work on the ramps, but now they're trying a different kind of repair. Now to some news out of Crawford County, where an accident along Interstate 79 trashes part of a busy interchange. It happened on the I-79 on ramp north at Meadville. Reports from the scene indicate a tractor trailer loaded with garbage did not make a turn, instead rolling onto its side, spilling garbage as it went. The driver from Hadley, Pennsylvania, was taken to the hospital, but the injuries did not appear to be life-threatening. The ramp was closed for several hours until the debris could be cleared away. State officials are urging Pennsylvanians to take precautions when it comes to avoiding tick and mosquito-borne illnesses. And in the new budget, the governor approved millions of dollars to help fight those diseases. Matt Heckel reports. Pennsylvania leads the country with the most new cases of Lyme disease reported. Diagnoses have increased 25% a year over the last four years. Lyme disease is really a very significant public health threat in Pennsylvania. Now, Dr. Rachel Levine, Secretary of Health, is urging Pennsylvanians to take precautions. Wearing the right clothes, using clothes that have the, that DEET, that insect repellent, uh, doing tick checks. She's also hoping new money in the state budget will help. It includes $2.5 million to hire staff at the Department of Health in order to implement the 18 recommendations made by the Lyme disease task force which was established four years ago. We want to work on prevention, we want to work on surveillance, we want to work on education and awareness about Lyme disease. Those recommendations include more Lyme disease prevention and education programs and more well-rounded surveillance of tick-borne diseases throughout the state. So this money will be very helpful for the Department of Health to be able to implement those recommendations.
The budget also includes a $139,000 increase to support the DEP's West Nile and Zika surveillance program. There have been more than 180 cases of the Zika virus in Pennsylvania since 2015. There haven't been any human cases of West Nile so far this year. And residents are urged to avoid mosquito-borne illnesses by doing things like getting rid of standing water around your home and always wearing insect repellent when outside. In Harrisburg, Matt Heckle, Fox 66 News. Let's turn to some good news now. A radio station in Erie is scheduled to make a major announcement later this morning. The Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine is expected to reveal that it's closed on the sale of the former Mercyhurst radio station, now known as Lecom Radio. The station is located at 88.5 on the FM dial and plays the classic hits from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Lecom first announced the sale back in late February and has been running the station since March 1st. When you think of Northeast, you might start dreaming of grapes and maybe some wine. But another crop is being celebrated over the weekend. That's the annual Cherry Festival. A lot of excitement happening with that. It includes rides, food, games, entertainment, vendors, the crowning of the Cherry Queen, and of course, lots and lots of cherry pie. A highlight of the event is the Fireman's Parade, set for Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock, but tonight the fun gets underway at 5.30. And after much anticipation, the wait is finally over. Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is scheduled to open up today. Employees have been training for the past few weeks. A new restaurant is in the 2600 block of West 12th Street and is scheduled to open shortly here at 10 a.m. The time now is 8.40. Get ready to moo for your supper. Coming up on Good Day Erie, Chick-fil-A wants to give you a free meal, but you have to do something for them first. Find out what it is when we come back. This is Fox 66 News Good Day Erie. It's Spectrum's best deal days. Get Spectrum TV, internet, and voice from $29.99 a month each. Call 844-559-2999. Spectrum TV with free HD, thousands of free on-demand titles, and access to the free Spectrum TV app to watch live TV at home or on the go. Spectrum TV from $29.99 a month. Spectrum has the fastest internet starting speeds, 100 megabits per second, and enough bandwidth to keep everyone's devices connected with no data caps, plus a free modem. But wait, there's more when you call 844-559-2999. Spectrum Voice, with unlimited nationwide calling in the U.S., Canada, Mexico, and more. With no additional taxes and fees, no contracts, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's Spectrum's best deal days. Get Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice from $29.99 a month each. Call now and get free DVR service your first year. Call 844-559-2999. Don't miss the 30th Annual Greek Festival, July 13th, 14th, and 15th. Enjoy Greek dinners, dancing, and pastries, a Greek boutique, and a church tour. Free admission, free parking. YourErie.com. No barriers to getting your news, weather, and sports. No annoying surveys. And no limited story count. Plus, the most video. You're a winner with YourErie.com and Your Eerie to go Sponsored by Presque Isle Downs and Casino. George Winston Company provides the best air conditioning repair, maintenance, and new installations in Erie. You get same-day service on all makes and models of central air conditioning systems. George Winston provides exceptional customer service backed up with over 100 years of serving the Erie area. Call now to have the George Winston Company provide you and your family with cool comfort all summer. For quality and value, call the George Winston Company. The plumbers on Plum Street. They are the greatest fighting force the world has ever seen. But what does it take to bridge the distance and keep them connected to family, home, and country? What does it take to strengthen our service members so they can be the greatest force for good in the world? It takes a force. Be a force behind the forces. Share a message today at force.uso.org. From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. Beautiful start to our day here, checking things out in the Connie Lake area. This is the Channel Lock Sky Cam, and there's a skier just having some fun there. 
in the early uh, morning hours here. And uh, why not? Temperatures already uh, moving up uh, quite nicely here uh, across the region. And uh, at least for the time being, no rainfall uh, being reported here. Now, by the afternoon in the Connecticut Lake region, you want to at least watch for the potential of some scattered showers and storms. The temperatures right now well into the 60s, uh, 75 at the airport here at our studio, 78. So it is uh, going up rather quickly, and it is getting a little humid out there with dew points in the lower to mid 60s. Now, despite that, uh, a frontal system off toward the north, spreading some showers right now into the Lake Ontario area. It's a little bit more uh, push off toward the east, but this front, uh, if you follow the clouds just getting to uh, the northern shores of Lake Erie, probably passing through Erie, the front itself will pass through in about an hour. And uh, but the rain, if any, would probably wait uh, another hour still. So by late morning, we could see some uh, showers or storms uh, develop. Scattered here, as you can see, I mean, during the afternoon, uh, they have it uh, here uh, in the region, uh, even farther south. But it's not very, uh, not very big. So even though we do have the moisture, the front itself pretty weak. And again, that precip will stay on the scattered side. But keep your eye on the sky if you have any outdoor plans for the day. In the meantime, future cast showing a northeast flow uh, for the afternoon uh, or for the nighttime and into tomorrow. That'll keep our dew points down and uh, temperatures a little lower, but overall not a bad look for the rest of the week. So sunshine for now and then uh, some clouds come in from midday into the afternoon. Uh, could see a few scattered showers develop here in Erie uh, around midday and early to mid-afternoon as you head farther south. Highs reaching the lower 80s, uh, for lower to mid-80s. For tonight, mostly clear and less humid. Mid to upper 50s inland, low 60s along the lake shore. That'll lead to some sunshine for tomorrow with high temperatures around 80 degrees. Maybe upper 70s here in Erie with that wind off the lake. From your weather authority, we'll have some increasing humidity as we head toward the end of the week and a little bit warmer too into the mid 80s by Friday and that humidity could lead to some scattered showers and storms for the upcoming weekend. Beautiful weather there. Mm -hmm. Of course with the heat here Elena you could get a little dehydrated mm -hmm. even if you're not exercising per se but um, oh I'm sorry I'm I'm on the wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> Here is today's trivia question. Oh my gosh, uh, that sleep thing. Go, I was going to say, going back to the sleep going thing. Going back to the sleep <laughs> thing here. Okay, how much weight of a 200 pound man, average 200 pound man, is okay. actually water? 90, 120, 150, or 180 pounds? Okay, I thought it was half our body weight is water. Okay. So there's no exactly half, but I'm going to go with 120. Okay, uh, actually it's about 60%, so you're oh. very good that you remembered. And that would okay. mean, uh, you're right though, you're in the right oh. genre, which means 120, 120 pounds of awesome. uh, 200 pound man is water. Woo! There you go. I'm one for one. Good or one girl. for two. Add a girl. One for two today. Actually, you know, I, now that I think about it, I believe women, it's closer to 50. Okay. 50 50. So you are correct. Oh, there you go. Guys, uh, we got a little more water than you. Wow. So Feeling intelligent this that's morning. That's why we go to the bathroom more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There you go. See? Good gains kick off the weekend as Starbucks saying, see you later to straws. Charles Payne has the, these stories and more in this edition of Fox Means Business. Fox shrugging off trade war fears for now. The Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P seeing the third straight day of gains with the Dow rallying 320 points on Monday. Meanwhile, the price at the pump giving you another reason to sweat this summer. The national average for regular unleaded gas now $2.87 a gallon. That's up two cents in the last week and about 62 cents higher than this time last year. And is this the last straw for straws? Starbucks saying it will ditch plastic straws from all of its stores by the year 2020. Cafes in Seattle and Vancouver will be the first to see strawless lids starting this fall. And Chick-fil-A wants to give you free chicken on Tuesday, but there's a catch. The fast food chain calling on customers to dress up with tails, spots, and ears for Cow Appreciation Day. Those wearing cow-like attire will score a free meal off the menu at any one of their stores in the U.S. That's business. I'm Charles Payne. Apple and Google are facing new questions over privacy. Republican leaders on the House Energy and Commerce Committee have sent letters to the heads of both companies asking for details on what kind of information is collected from our smartphones. This comes about three months after the head of Facebook faced questions of data privacy on Capitol Hill.
Americans are borrowing more. Consumer debt rose to more than $24 billion in May. The Federal Reserve says that's the biggest jump since November of 2016. The boost in borrowing is led by more credit card purchases. Some exporters in China say they're scrambling with new U.S. tariffs putting a damper on orders. For example, the general manager of a medical equipment company says about 20% of its sales are in the United States. He says cuts to orders could cost his company nearly $6 million this year. And forget waiting for retirement to save some money. Instead, focus on reaching financial freedom fast. If you try hard enough, you can be financially free in no time. Ree Binion shows us how. Can you imagine being financially independent in five years? It sounds too good to be true, but it is possible. If you have choices in your life to step away sometimes, to take a year off, to travel, that's true financial freedom. So how do you get there? First, financial experts say establish an emergency savings fund. Most people working toward financial independence live below their means and save about half their income. Where people struggle is, is they want financial freedom and they want all the things right now in terms of goods, whether that's a car, the house, the, the clothes, the this and that. So they want all of these things immediately, plus they want freedom. Second, get rid of your debt. The sooner you do this, the closer you'll be to making choices like taking a year off to travel or starting your own business. And third, create extra income. Experts recommend you work a side gig or buy property to rent to others. And over time, the mortgage gets paid off, and now you're still generating income from that property every single month. Once you've built your emergency reserve and paid off your debts, you can start investing and build some serious wealth. The sooner you can get to 20% of your gross income going to retirement, the sooner you can actually retire. For Consumer Watch, I'm Reed Binion. Time now is 850, and the temperature is 79. Also coming up on Good Day Erie, it was a wild day on the diamond. Craig Smiley shows us which local teams tally to win next. You know Shriners Hospitals for Children as the place that takes care of the most complex orthopedic conditions. But we also take care of common fractures, sprains, and sports injuries. Why would you need Shriners' whole pediatric team to treat a simple injury? Because we know how that injury affects your child physically, emotionally, and socially. We not only treat, we rehabilitate and inspire your child to get back in the game. For any orthopedic issue, make sure your child gets the love and care only Shriners Hospitals for Children can give. Be where you want to be. See what you want to see. Do it all with a free RV from Boyer RV Center. That's right. Visit Boyer RV Center in Erie between now and August 15th and register to win the first Grand Design Transcend travel trailer ever made. Completely redefining quality and functionality, Transcend is this year's most anticipated RV yet. And best of all, it sleeps up to 10 people comfortably. All you've got to do is head to Boyer RV Center before August 15th and enter for your chance to win. Hurry in today. Are are you taking care of a disabled loved one? We are a home care company that can pay you for taking care of your family member, neighbor, or friend. If your family member or someone you know has a long-term disability and is a Pennsylvania resident, they may qualify for home and community-based services. If you already service a loved one and are not receiving weekly and time and a half pay, call Excel Home Care. Financial support for you while you support your loved one. Weather is brought to you by Superstore Joe at Off-Road Express. It's inches off the ground. It's open-air freedom. It's remarkably powerful. It's totally unique. It starts at $21,199. It's Slingshot. Pure driving fun. See the all-new Polaris Slingshot Roadster only at Off-Road Express. Get out and play. And now, Fox 66 Sports with Greg Smiley. Hey, good morning. Let's talk sports. Longtime Girard High School assistant football coach Bill McNally is the new head coach for the Yellow Jackets, replacing Mike Zona, who resigned last month. I know what you're saying. I've heard this already. The school originally named McNally as the interim head coach, but according to the high school principal, the board voted last night to remove the interim tag. McNally is the new head coach and the father of former Girard star Brian McNally, who went on to play at Slippery Rock Major League. 
Baseball Pirates, Nationals, PNC Park. Let's go. Buck goes up 4-1 early in the second. It is Gregor, Gregory Polanco with a runner aboard. 13th of the year. He drove in four. Pirates up 6-2 in the sixth. And it's Bryce Harper. Call it out to the astronauts on that moonshot to straightaway center. 443 feet away. But the newly named all-star closer, Felipe Vasquez, ensues the game-ending 6-4-3. Double play. Pirates get the win. Your final is 6-3. The Eagle has landed on Larry Doby Way in downtown Cleveland. Tribe and Reds Battle of Ohio. Watch the defensive play from Tyler Naquin. Coming out of your a-ha. Mike Clevenger grinning like the teenager who found the free trial of Cinemax. Yonder Alonzo turns a 3-0 deficit into a two-run game with one swing of the bat. But Clevenger wasn't smiling after this Joey Votto homer. His ninth of the year. Indians trailed 7-1 at one point before Michael Brantley would come back and cut it to a two-run game in the ninth. But it was not enough. Indians fall. Your final was 7-5 in that one. Wild one in St. Pete. Tigers, Tampa Bay, Detroit battled back from a 7-3 deficit. And in the ninth, Mikey Matuk's grounder to second turns into a bad option pitch from Jake Bowers. This one goes to extras after Jacoby Jones scores. Tied at nine. Blaine Hardy trying to keep it that way, but the Rays get a one-out triple from Kevin Kermeyer. That sets the table, and Daniel Robertson says, how about a chicken dinner? As in winner, winner, chicken dinner. Rays take it. 10-9 in 10 innings. I'm out. Have a great sports Tuesday. Up next, we'll take a final look at your forecast and your morning headlines. Stay with us. You know, honey, I hate to bow out of Chick Flick Friday, but I've got to run to the ATM. Uh, Janie may not have enough money to go to the movies with her friends tonight. Listen, honey, she has the Get Cash card from Widget Financial, so relax. And you don't have to go to the ATM because I've been monitoring her spending all night on the phone app. Yeah. Plus, she has that set spending limit, remember? Widget Financial's Get Cash card is a reloadable debit card that's cool enough for them and safe enough for you. So I guess Chick Flick Friday's back on then. <laughs> it was never off. Thank you, Erie and all of Northwest PA, for once again choosing Humes as an Erie's Choice award-winning dealer. And our higher volume here at Humes always enables us to offer you the very best deal. Humes has the all-new redesigned 2019 Jeep Cherokee Limited, leasing for only $159 a month. That's right, only $159 a month for a Cherokee with heated leather seats, blind spot avoidance, remote power, liftgate, and more. Come get yours here at Humes today. Only nine miles south, Mill Creek Mall on Peach Street in Waterford. Next time on Mike and Molly. You're having a girl's weekend. I'm not going to shower for two days. Everybody wins. Molly's weekend is looking grim. Have you been here the whole time? No, no. I went back up to the room to get my purse and look through your bags for money. <laughs> Why have you forsaken me? Until she makes it rain. <laughs> How much is that? Ten grand, which means like 800 in profit. You were down nine grand? You just shut up and giggle. On the next Mike and Molly. Today at 530 on Fox 66. From your weather authority, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. Checking out the Humes for Cars.com Skycam. This is uh, looking out over the bay. Uh, weather in nice shape here. We have uh, some clouds around, but overall uh, a nice one, a dry start to the day. Live pinpoint Doppler uh, for now not showing any precipitation and uh, may pick up a little bit later on in the day, but for now it is rain free. Temperature uh, at the airport now up to 77. It's almost 80 here at our studios. Inland spots uh, cooler in the 60s for the most part. Heading close to 70 degrees. The dew points are starting to get up there. They're pooling here. You can see mid 60s. So we're getting what we call pooling of the dew points uh, where the moisture pooling here in northwest Pennsylvania. The trigger is this front. The front, though, not very strong. It is moving now closer toward the lakeshore. It is dry. All you see is this thin line of clouds here with the uh, more prominent showers off toward. Lake Ontario. The front will come through here in Erie in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and uh, you'll see the clouds slowly increase, and uh, there could be some showers with that here in Erie. Now, as it heads farther inland, a little uh, push up from uh, the higher elevations, it could bring in some scattered showers and storms, but it looks like the best, better chance of those showers and storms will be inland sections out toward Meadville, Franklin, and Mercer, but even then, on the scattered side. Don't put off those outdoor plans. Keep your eye on the sky. Northerly winds come in behind it, a cool, comfortable night. And that'll lead to some nice weather into Wednesday with more sunshine and low humidity. Today, humid, especially this morning. Uh, chance of scattered showers here in Erie late morning, midday, 
and in the early to mid-afternoon farther inland, highs in the lower 80s. Mostly clear, comfy for tonight, mid to upper 50s inland, low 60s for the city, and sunshine for tomorrow with highs around 80 degrees. The humidity comes back though for Thursday and especially into Friday, and that could lead to some scattered showers and storms for the weekend. Get the latest update to that forecast anytime. Head to our website, yourerie.com. Thank you, Tom. Here's a last look at your local headlines. Erie police are still searching for suspects involved in a weekend shooting. Police were called to the 700 block of East 24th Street on Sunday around 11 p.m. to investigate. Police are not releasing the names of the suspects at this time. The Erie County Coroner's Office says the driver in a fatal pedestrian accident is not facing charges. 64-year-old Lannis Ellis was crossing West 26th Street when she was struck by a car at about 10.30 Friday night. The annual Northeast Firemen's Cherry Festival gets underway today. A highlight of the event is the Firemen's Parade set for Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. Tom DeVecchio will be there as will Tom Mackin, so be sure you head over. The fun gets underway tonight at 5.30. Finally this morning, surf's up, furry friends. At Del Mar Beach in San Diego, a group called Social Surf Dogs gave surfing lessons to man's best friend. The lessons happen all summer long. It also allows the dogs to prepare for the annual Dog Surfathon competition in September. It is a real thing yep, and definitely something to see. Absolutely. Very cute. What talented little guys. <laughs> <laughs> my dogs can't even walk on their four legs. I let can't alone stand surf. two legs myself. Yeah. <laughs> Forget me in the surfboard. I love it. That's all we have for you on Good Day Erie. You can always head over to yourerie.com to see our stories at any time. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us.